Good day everyone, welcome to today's video. Today it's another subscriber request by It's Phillips, this time for the Gladiator Mark II. Now the Gladiator started out in the late 19, well the quite early 1930s and it was intended to replace the Hawk and Nimrod and things like that. Obviously there is a C variant of the Gladiator but I chose this Gladiator due to it probably being a slightly more manoeuvrable because it's got no tail hook in the actual tail section. I've got both Gladiators spaded, so don't worry about that. But then the Gladiator Mark II was one of the most common biplanes we used. I believe we... Hold on a second. It's Richie D again. I swear to God, he always spams me every so often. But, um... One second. There we go. Um, the Gladiator Mark II was used... Right up until 1943, I think we kept these around. Some of the air forces around the world used these up until the 50s. Probably as trainers or something like that. Um, China was um, very well received with the gladiators. Um, and we, do, we still have a couple of gladiators that survive to this day, as far as I'm aware. They're mostly used as acrobatics aircraft. And these things are very maneuverable. In game, obviously, we are a battle rate of 1.3. We have four Browning machine guns on board. The two in the lower gondolas, which are down here, have 500 rounds. And the machine guns mounted here have... Oh no, these are 600, I think. One second, let me check. Yeah, 600. I thought it was, because it would have made sense. But um, these have 600, these have 400. Apparently there was a modification of the Gladiator where you could have another two of these gondolas mounted here with 400 rounds of gun. That would be awesome. So that b would bump your ammo count up to 2,800 rounds and you would have six Browning machine guns out of a biplane. That would be pretty cool, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Because after all, all Gaijin wants is your money. Now as I speak, I am... Um, two away from the IAR, two daily objectives, and it's funny enough, I've just gotten them. So I am going to um I am going to do that. Obviously you'll see the IAR first flight before this. But I am gonna get the IAR today. So I'm I'm well happy. So let's get into it. But first of all, I do need to point out some things about the Gladiator. Now, first of all, I don't particularly like the Gladiator in RB. In Arcade, it's really fun. Because, well, you just you can match anything you wanted in this, except for I-15s. You do have two self sealing fuel tanks, but let's be real. If we get hit in the engine block, we're dead anyway. Because this engine cannot take a lot of hits. Hopefully this will go better than a Nimrod. Let's find out. But um, there was a incident. Well, there was an instance in a Malta where I think it was Faith, Hope, and Charity, which were three Gloucester Gladiators, where they managed to hold off quite a few of the Italian Air Force until we got um, until we got the Hawker Hurricanes over there, the Spitfires. They did well, given the odds. Um, Faith, I think, was shot down. Hope was shot down. And I think Charity was damaged. But um, the Gladiator is commonly dual with CR-42s, as well as C-200s and G-50s. Bombers-wise, they dealt with SM-81s, I should say. I know the Digital Time Traveler is a bit... Well, he doesn't particularly like the... Um, the S81 because of how Gaijin have named it. They've named it the SM81, not well, not the SM81. That's how it should be named. It's named in game as the S81. That's why he doesn't like it all that much. I mean, I'm not being funny, right? If Gaijin can't even spell SM81 correctly, then God help them if they'll support in. Bolton Pole Defiant, which I know the Digital Time Traveler has always wanted to see that in game. Obviously, I've done a video on that thing. I think it could work. It's just it's got a couple of drawbacks, which would be quite unique to itself, but I think it could still work regardless. I think it needs an interceptor spawn, personally. The climb rate would help it catch the Heinkel bombers. Once it's dealt with the bombers, it can then return to base as normal. 
But we'll have to see, won't we? The only thing about low tier now is obviously we're going to deal with a lot of E1 stat padders and high 100. So they're going to use this event to farm. So this battle probably won't go too well in our favour, but it don't matter. I'll do my best, obviously, because I do like the Gladiator the way it handles. It actually has flaps, so you can turn tighter. It's got good energy retention for a biplane. It's got good armament for a biplane. And, well, I like the brand of machine guns, so why not? <sighs> but, um, as I speak, I am um, the... What's it called? The RP changes and all that have been included. Obviously, I'm not going to go over that. Okay, we got Essen, one of my favourite maps. Okay. I think I'm going to go universal for this battle. 600 metres convergence, minimum fuel load. Let's see what we can do in the old Gloucester Gladiator biplane, shall we? Someone's doing a gloss uh, um, Tux Gladiator. I thought I saw someone's name then. GM Gamers, what? The one thing I like about this plane is that it does have pretty decent WEP. We are in a Battle 2 game, so... We are going to see E1 stat padders, which is nothing new. And whilst... I'm learning to play and climb a bit. I will answer my phone because my phone is going mental again. And then the gladiator doesn't climb too badly, so that's what I like about it. Okay, 109E has just crashed, that's good for me. Oh, I forgot how slow this thing actually climbs at speed. That's weapon, see if that makes any difference. Yeah, weapon does seem to make a difference. Why do I get the feeling that Max D Grow is gonna just go screaming in for that J87? But yeah, I do like the Gladiator. I used to love flying this thing in arcade. It was an absolute beast. Because back then you didn't have the BF or the Heinkel 100, which would leave you for dead. The E1 idiots would always, um, the E1s would always try and outturn you back in the days of arcade. But yeah, like I say, um, Obviously, back in the day, back in the day, you would have had to have dealt with um, BF1 and E1s, BF110s, back when they were 2.0. You could deal with them, it's just you don't want to get hit by them. And well, I proved once in my, um, what's the word, my live battle that I did when I was grinding the R1 ADS. Yeah, you don't want to get hit at all in the Gladiator, because I did murder a Gladiator in a single pass. Oh, sorry for the poor bugger. Okay, so... Got th four BF 109s, I'm hoping some of them will be Bs and maybe even As. They're all bum-rushing the we're away at the moment. I don't know why. The we're away, really isn't that interesting. Let's go for this Doe 17, shall we? We should be fast enough to catch up to the Doe. Then we might go down there and deal with that BA-65. Obviously, I was pointing then, but... You guys obviously want to be able to see me pointing. That is an E model. Not that dangerous, to be honest. But I don't want to get in that dorsal turret. We are starting to get on him, but... Not by a lot, let's be real, it's a biplane. 
Our airfield's over to our right, so he, I don't know why he's coming this way. Let's fire a couple of shots, see what he does. Why is he doing? Is he really trying to outturn us or something? What is he doing? Somebody, have I only got three guns firing? Oh, that's the fire I wanted. Oh yeah, all four guns are firing. I just thought, like, we only had one or three guns firing then. This guy's going in for a death dive. I'll leave him. He's going down. Okay, next up, BA-65. I thought I got a kill on him there, but that's fine. That's another one. Let's get the Stuka all the way past. All the way through. Whoa, friendly fire there. Sunderland, you're getting a bit close, buddy. My aim at these Brandons ain't the best, but we've cleared the Sunderland's arse. Took me way too much ammunition to do that, but to be fair, they were armoured bombers, so... Except the BA, that thing has no armour. We managed to use our dive speed that we gained in the dive and managed to keep up the speed and everything. Yeah, we've still got another E, that Deckman 123, who I bet is a stat better. Surprised I'm not. He's had a pretty good game regardless. Um, I think the safe option here is to return to base and land for ammunition. Just hoping that Sutherland didn't take too much damage from that. Swarm of enemy planes. Like, I mean, a BA 65 ground attacker, a J 87 bomber, and even a DO 17 would look like he was going to have a crack in him. Okay, let's use our flaps because we actually have them in this. Well, you've done jack shit, buddy, so get cracking. You've gotten a single kill, probably on that Stuka I saw earlier at the start of the match. The things about a gladiator though, you can land it at really slow speeds, I mean 70 miles an hour. I've done that in my loader car for god's sake. Oh, um, it appears the brakes are a bit sensitive. Eh, doesn't bother me. I think that's what's called a toe landing, if I remember rightly from um, Dave Schilling. That might be called a toe landing, I can't remember. Whatever, doesn't bother me. We're still alive. Yeah, so there's one BF-19B like I predicted. If we get an ace out of this thing, and I've and I've not flown the Gladiator since I left Arcade, which is a very long time ago, and I already like her. Obviously, the Sea Gladiator flies very similar, but it would add he's just. Well, he took out one of the E's, but he rammed it at the same time. Dumbass. And Richie D has just sent me a message on Facebook, and um, it's a sticker of a crying baby because his internet's out. Well, he's obviously using data, so you poor bastard is all I'll say. So we've got a Sunderland that's got rabies, clearly, as Dark Angel would say. But we've got three kills though this game. But if they're all on ground attackers and bombers, but still kills. And obviously the gladiator did intercept SM seventy nines and things like that. Okay, so the Sunderland is currently going rabies mode on this BF one nine I think it's a B model that is. We've got a BF one nine well then, Deckman died, so that's good. We've got that, I think it's a B model. Let me check the battle feed. Yes, it's a B model, so that's a B model, confirmed. Then we've got Extreme Ice and German Master. I haven't seen any of those two the whole game, so I have no idea what they're flying. But I think we did a smart move, because not only that, we've refueled in case we need to fanny around in the battlefield. Hyker 112V has just crashed. Good, good, good. Xbox player. We might be able to get an ace out of this one at this rate, ladies and gentlemen. If this BF-49B doesn't die. So let's crank up the old Gladiator and see what she can do in terms of top speed. 
obviously for a biplane it wasn't the world's fastest but by the time the Gladiator was still in service there was obviously monoplanes there had been early BF109s, G50s, MC200s as I mentioned at the beginning German master BF109A has just crashed I'm hoping they repair well I hope he repairs because otherwise we're not going to get our race <laughs> And uh, no, he is not repairing, so... We might have to wait for him, but Narifs, for some reason... Well, he's playing like a spaz, so... He's probably going to get a kill on that BF-109. That's what I'll do. I'll put the pressure on the BF-109. Because I'm pretty damn certain the flying porcupine can handle him. That's what the Sunderland's nickname was during the war because of its defensive armament. The Germans once sent out five J-88 night fighters to try and deal with a single Sunderland. The Sunderland shot, I think, two of them down and managed to cripple a third, which soon crashed, and the Sunderland was able to return to base. Yeah, I think he's run into his airfield. To be honest, I don't bloody blame him. <laughs> I would if I had a Sunderland on my ass. Okay, so let's go and hit some ground targets. Obviously, triple A first because we know how broken the triple A is. And obviously, last time I engaged these triple A guns, I got fucking violet sniped in a single shot. Flying nice and slowly here, but at the same time. Okay, the BF 19B just crashed. Oh shit, 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 shit. Take out that triple eight. The BF 109B clearly overheated his engine or something. Alright, you can start off with your 20mm flat gun. The guy's dead, leave him. The guy's dead, man. Let him live. And there we go. Three air kills, six ground targets. Good run. Very good run. To say I haven't flown this thing, you donkeys. <sighs> so, 1,789, obviously I've already spaded at the Gladiator, so that's irrelevant. 762 towards Sea Fury, which I'm looking forward to now that it's got a BRD grease, which I don't think it really needs. But yeah, decent run in the Gladiator. Very happy to um, fly the, the thing. I do like it, as I always say. I mean, if we go back to my old arcade stats, uh, where is it? Gladiator... See, look, it was a decent plane in my service because I just knew how to fly it. Same with the Sea Gladiator. That did bloody well. Look at that serve. Nearly a... That'd be a 7-1, yeah. So, these things can do well. These are competitive and these were very good planes. You know what? I think the top speed, well, the top um, 8 was 15 kills. Perfectly bloody good for a biplane. I haven't done one of these in a while, because honestly I've forgotten, but um, recommended upgrade path for me personally. I would go belts first, because these universal rounds pack a punch. Um, then go down the engine line alone, then do wings, cover, and then just clean up. That's the best way to do it. Like I say, I would like to see more um, rank 1, 2, and things like that um, added, like um, biplanes, early monoplanes things like that. It's just Gaijin are not focusing on what the players want, it's just what they want. Pretty much. Like, as much as I'd love, because I know we live in a world where we have freaking Challenger 2s running around, but to be honest, this shouldn't have been added to War Thunder right now. The game still needs quite a bit fixing before something like this big boy can come in. And well, Richard has already complained about the lower glaciers, so hey ho. But like I say, I'm just, I'm tossed between, like, the whole argument about um, top tier tanks, because really, rank 7, and we've not even, oh, let's begin, I mean, Britain's got a pretty crappy high tier lineup, let's be realistic here, Japan is still missing a big line in the rank 2 region of its tanks for um, light tanks. Rank 1 for tank destroyers, spags, and things like that. And, well, it's just not needed, is it? It's just ridiculous. 
But hey, good run in the Gladiator. I still have... One second, I'm just going to briefly check. I still have quite a few more lower tier aircraft to do, so... Because um, obviously I've got a couple of sub requests from It's Phillips, he sent it over me on Discord. And I got one from Jane Prawn 3, which I... Oh, he said he was joking about it, I was not. He requested a Type 2 Kamehameha. Which I will also cover at some point historically. Obviously, I might do it just in a video to save time. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys off. Hope you enjoyed today's video on the Gladiator Mark II. It's a really nice biplane. I highly suggest people fly it. And I will catch you all in the next one.